Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today we're going to be doing a fun little Easter DIY. This super cute little bunny vase from Anthropology is the inspiration for today's project. So today we are going to be making our own bunny vase from clay sculpting. I found this bunny head template on ultimatepapermache.com and I will leave the link below so that you can download this for yourself and also check out her video on her bunny bust. Now although my inspiration is from the Anthropology vase, I did want to make my bunny just a little more whimsical. I'm going to be using some of this chipboard. You can use cardboard if you'd like, whichever you have on hand. And then I'm gonna cut out my bunny head and the ears and transfer those onto that chipboard. So once I have them all cut out, then I'm just gonna trace around the templates onto the chipboard and cut those out again. I'm gonna be using some aluminum foil to make the bunny shapes using those templates. I'm gonna just kind of squish up some of that aluminum foil and use masking tape to secure this to the template. At this point, I'm just working on the head of the bunny. And as I am doing this, I am just gonna keep adding layers of the aluminum foil to fill out the shape of the bunny head. Also at this point, you don't need to worry about any of the details in the bunny head, just getting the simple shape of that head finished. And this is what it looked like once I just had the shape finished. Which I know this doesn't quite look like a bunny just yet, but you have to keep trusting the process. I added another piece of aluminum foil over the top and the bridge of the bunny's nose so that I could make some indention for the eyes. After adding that detail, then I'm going to move on to the front part of the bunny's face. They have puffy little jaws kind of close to their snout and so I'm just adding little balls right beside where I'm going to put their nose. And I did that on either side of the face just using the masking tape to blend that in. And the cool thing about the foil is you can kind of keep shaping it after you've taped it. And now you can kind of see the bunny head starting to take shape. To finish off the details, I wanted to add a little more fluff to the back part of the cheeks. So again, just balling up some foil and taping those to the head. Once I had those secured, then I just went around and covered the rest of the bunny head with some masking tape. Now moving on to the ears. For those, I just bent the pieces of chipboard so that I could make that bottom part rounded into itself. And then again, Again, used a couple pieces of masking tape to secure those. Then it was time to just secure these to the top of the head again using some masking tape for now to hold those onto the head and I decided to just have mine pointed straight up but you can configure them however you'd like. Then it was time to move on to the fun part, which is using some air dry clay to cover the bunny head. And for now, I'm just doing the head. We will do the body a little bit later. So I'm just starting out by breaking a bunch of little pieces of my air dry clay into smaller pieces. And I have a bowl of water here, which I'm gonna keep my clay and my fingers really wet and just start using paper thin pieces of the air dry clay and pushing them onto my bunny head. Now again, it is easiest to do this if you keep your clay nice and wet. Not only will the wet clay act as a glue to itself, but it makes it so much easier to spread it evenly over the head. So I'm just gonna keep working my way around the head and also doing the ears at this point. It's actually really simple and honestly, I found clay sculpting to be even easier than just using clay for general purposes. If you keep your fingers nice and wet, it smooths out so nicely. There weren't a ton of lumps in this at all once I was smoothing it out. And the 
the lumps that there were, they just kind of looked more like the bunny's natural texture. So I do want to point out as I'm doing the ears, you can see I'm leaving that inner hole empty. I did put the clay close down in there where you're not going to be able to see the ending of it, but I left the ears open so that they could be a vase. Now, because air dry clay is actually super heavy when you do this technique, I laid this down flat and let the head and the ears completely dry for two days. If I would have set this upright, there's a chance the ears would have fallen over. Now, because I have not attached the body yet, I want to point out right here that I did not put any clay on the bottom of the bunny head. And since the head is now completely dry, we can move on to making that body. I'm going to be using a scrap piece of half inch dowel that I had, and I'm going to put this in the center of some plastic bags. Just kind of wrap those plastic bags around the wood dowel. And then I'm going to use a piece of foil and wrap that around around the plastic bags just to kind of keep them in place while I am taping this up. And as you can see, I left a little bit of the dowel sticking out of each end. And I'm just doing the general body shape, just an oval shape. It doesn't matter exactly what it looks like right now because again, we're going to be putting clay over this. And I'm also going to add a base to this to help it stand better. So I'll just be using one of these little wood rounds from Dollar Tree for that purpose. And as you can see, I just drilled a little hole into the top of this wood piece so that I could push that dowel down inside of there. Now, as you remember, I didn't put clay on the bottom of the bunny's head and that is so I could just use a pair of scissors and kind of just twist it up into the bunny's head to make room to put that dowel. And I know it looks a little funny right now, but once we get the clay on here, you're going to see the vision. But before I start the clay part, I do want to secure each of these pieces together. I used some wood glue to put the dowel down in the wood piece and then to attach the head of the bunny. I'm just using some gel super glue, putting it on that dowel and then sliding this down on there. I am going to be covering the wood piece with clay as well, just to make this look like one uniformed piece. So I covered the bottom portion, including that wood piece with some more plastic bags, wrapped aluminum foil around it, and then again used masking tape to make it all look seamless. Then to blend his head into his body, I just used more of that aluminum foil, balled it up, and then placed that where his head and his body connected. Again, just using masking tape to make it look seamless. Then just like before with the head and the ears, I'm using small paper thin pieces of the air dry clay, keeping my hands and my fingers wet and the clay wet while I'm doing this and just sculpting the rest of the bunny. Once I had finished sculpting the bunny with the air dry clay all the way to the very bottom, I added some little balls for the eyes and a little triangular shape for his nose. I also added some thin little rolled up pieces to make the illusion of some eyelids. Again, don't be too concerned with any lumps or clumps lumps of clay right now. Just let this set and completely dry and we can come back in and sand it once it is dry. And that is exactly what I did once this bunny was dry. I just took a fine grit piece of sandpaper and very lightly sanded over it. I wasn't trying to get rid of all the texture, but just any little pieces of the clay that were sharp or just needed to be sanded down. Then it was finally time to paint the bunny. Now you can of course choose any color you want and the inspiration was a white ceramic bunny head. But for me, I wanted to make mine into a bronze or brass looking bunny head. So I'm going in and doing one coat of brown paint in the color burnt umber. And then to finish the bunny off, I am gonna go over it with some European gold rub and buff to give it that brass finish finish. Then I just added some dried flowers in his ears and I love the way he turned out. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this bunny bust vase. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.